Good morning. Hold on, let me put my map back on. I hope you guys are having a great Monday morning. I don't know about you guys, but man, I'm. It's been a rough morning. Goodness. Hold, hold on, let me turn down my my laptop here. Hold on a second here. Okay, so I think we are ready. So I got my computer set up over there, so we have some feedback. I think. I think you guys are watching right now. You guys are about like two or three second delay. Okay, so I think that's part of the live streaming, I guess. Anyway, uh, if you are new to the, my live streaming, welcome. Uh, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, so these are all unscripted, pretty much spontaneous. And uh, we kind of like, we come up with a topic, you know, as we go. So I have no idea what we're going to talk about this morning. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section as well. Okay, it's been... Yeah, it's Monday morning. So I don't know about you guys, but man, the weather is pretty humid in Tucson. It's about 83 degrees right now, about 61% humidity. It's not like Tucson. Okay, I feel like I'm in Texas. Okay, Texas. We got some friends joining us this morning. About what? Whole 20 of you out there. Okay, so here's what my suggestion. Okay, so we can make some coffee. I got a brand new coffee here. It's not new. I mean, this is, I, I, I used it before. This is a naturally processed medium to light roast from Good Brothers Coffee. Uh, Columbia, tasting note is pretty nice. Honey, rose water, and quam cut. Sounds really good. Or, I got some unboxing to do. I have a three box, okay? And then I'm gonna let you decide. Uh, pick one box, we're gonna open it today. So let me know, you guys wanna make some coffee or Let's do unbox. Uh, what do you guys want? I'm just gonna looking at the comment section there. Let's see. I'm gonna hear from your feedbacks. So, so we're gonna do two choice: unbox or we're gonna dial in coffee. Okay. So I'm gonna give back to you. So you guys are running the show this morning. Okay. So Eduardo say unbox. Okay. Melanie say unbox. Okay. Love to say unbox. Okay, so let's do that. So let's do unboxing. Okay, good. Okay, so let's, I'm going to give you guys a pick which one to okay, unbox this morning. Okay, so hold on a second. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so at this point, So, here, let's do this. So this is the box number one, okay? Box number one. This box number two here. And three, okay, three. So you got one, two, and three. So which one you guys would like to see this morning, this wonderful Monday morning? Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so one, one, two, and three. Which one you guys want to see this morning? Okay, number two. Okay, you got number one. You got number two. You got one, two, and three. Okay, we have a lot of number one there and number two. So you got one, two. Okay, we have a lot of number ones. One. Okay, you got two, two, one. May okay, you know what? Uh, let's go with the number one this morning, okay? So let's open up this one. Mike said number four. I know Dane wants to see our three, but I think, you know what? I think we should do one of each next few mornings. So let's open up this box right here this morning. Okay, so this one is, uh, I'm gonna big shout out to the Imans, Imans, okay? So this is a multifunctional portable coffee machine. So let's open it up here. Man, I need a knife. Hold on. Okay, so let's open this one up here. So this is the multifunctional coffee machine. So I'm, I'm opening for the first time. Okay. 
comes to unboxing experience, you know, I'm just, just pretty typical, okay? But the thing is, I always look at the, how they box, the, and they did a pretty good job on unboxing it. Okay, I'm just gonna, there's no good way to open this. I'm just gonna flip it over here. Okay, look at this. See, so this is made in China. Hold on, let me give you guys a better view. Okay, here I go. So it looks pretty good. So this, so okay, I see. Put the water in it. All right, so let's, of course you can use a pot as well. All right, I wonder I can do it one hand. I wonder if we can do one hand action here. Okay, that give you directions. You know what, I don't think I can. So I'm gonna have my wife to hold it for a second. I'm just gonna grab right there for me. I'm gonna have my wife to hold for one second here. Actually, you know what? It comes to the how they box is pretty well. Comes with the stand, the wire, okay. I believe it's this go this way. You should be snapped right in. Yep. Like so. Just like that. Okay. First two. Okay, I'm gonna take it from here. Yeah, I mean overall impression looks actually pretty sharp. Okay, I love the black. And that comes with a different, so, all right, hold on a second here. So this is the water reservoir on the top like so. Put the water on the top like that. So here's a, comes a different pot. Actually, this is well made, uh, very hardened plastic. Okay, it's not like regular cheapy plastic, but this actually feels quite nice. Yeah, not bad. So this one has a different pot options. Yep, there goes the pot right there. I believe this one just put the, uh, see, I wonder, dangles like maybe like pre-ground coffee perhaps. I know you can do multi-function. Let's see what this is. Okay, that one, this is, I want some kind of cleaning tools perhaps. Oh, goodness. This one is a milk frother, guys. Yeah. This is a milk frother. They look like this one actually can make steam the milk. Very interesting. Very interesting. Obviously it comes with a temper. Okay. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Okay, well okay, let me in the comment section. So this one is look like cup there as well. Yep, that's some kind of cup. That's cup. Drip tray, metal. I got the different, uh, let's see, we have, uh, they have a different cup size. This is the on and up, the locking, okay, lock, unlock, okay. I see. 
Yeah, not bad. Okay, overall build quality is pretty good. I have to say, the build quality is quite nice. Again, I mean, look like fun machine. Hold on, let me unscrew this. I wonder I can, you know, hold on. Let me flip the camera back on the tray there, tripod. Okay, so this one goes to, uh, you can put the uh, pre-ground beans here. Huh, yep. They look like this is like pressurized basket. So it's not a non-pressurized, this is a pressurized basket. So, you know what? I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by this. And I'm, let's unlock this. Let's unlock, there we go. So you can actually take everything out. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I see. So that actually snapped right in on the bottom there. Hold on, goodness. You, uh, as you can see from there, you can actually snap it in like so. Just, just like that, in and out. Same as this one as well. Has a different pot option. Just slide right in. You just lock, put the water, and you just pretty much depend on what you, what you guys want and just press the button and you, you make yourself coffee. It's not bad, it's interesting, okay? So maybe, you know, again, uh, let me know in the comment section. I mean, what do you guys uh, think about that? Okay, hold on a second. I mean, I got some great uh, comments from you guys. Let's see here. Uh, Linda say I need some more room. Okay, and then uh, one see no, no Iman's motion in my car. <laughs> Dane, definitely. I, I cannot see you are having motion like this, okay? Definitely not. That's for sure. But this one is great for like, let's say if you go somewhere, go on a little vacation, take one of these and some maybe hand grinder perhaps. I mean, yeah, I mean hand grinder, something like this, and then you're gonna have some, you know, you can make some good coffee. Not great coffee, I bet you can get some good coffee. You know, so, I think we are, we're gonna make some coffee with that maybe like tomorrow morning, okay, let's do that. Okay, so maybe tomorrow morning, let's do, uh, 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 let's do another unboxing tomorrow morning, and then let's use that machine to, you know, make coffee. Okay, it'd be a lot of fun. Okay, let's do that tomorrow morning. So that's the plan for tomorrow morning. Hold on. I think the uh, Angela said, I mean, this is great for like, you know, some place like Cabin perhaps. Yeah. Okay. I mean, go on, you know, a little vacation. Take one of these. Save a lot of room there as well. A lot easier than bring your Brista Express for sure. But again, whenever I go, I take my bra uh, rubber machine. So, but. All right. So let's. Okay. That looks looks good. I mean, this is very similar to you buying like Keurig. You know, what one of those pop machine, pretty much the same thing. But this one has, you have more, a little bit more control. So this is, a, you can just put the pre-grind coffees there. So let's review this. This one goes to the pot inside. And then, hold on. Let me unlock this again. Okay, so this is another pot. Okay, look like another pot. So you can use about a couple different pot options. Hold on, let's see here. They have a different color option. Yeah. So you can do pre-grind coffee. So you, you have a few options. So you have, you know, because I know some of you out there uh, have that pot thing. So yeah, so this is, I'm intrigued. Is that practical for our lifestyle, I know most of you have uh, the rear machine at home, something like this. Yeah, let me know in the comment section, please. How many of you are actually thinking about getting one of these for your second home, perhaps, if you have a second home? But yeah, I mean, again, this is interesting. And they're very easy to assemble and disassemble. Hold on, just, I can unlock this. For, came right off. Yeah, you can. And I wonder, you can actually use it as one hand too, if, if you don't need this cable, yeah, definitely. So 
you got some few options. Okay, but meantime, let's uh, let's look at some comments. What you guys are saying here? Marshall say French press, and then. Okay, they mentioned about the Bezerra coffee. Okay, the coffee machine, Marshall. Hold on. The name is Amas, Imas, Imans. Okay, look like fit my. Yeah, you can actually def definitely fit into some kind of purse or some kind of large bag. You can fit right there. Okay, I think we are good for this morning for this. You know what? Let, let's make some coffee anyway, okay? So let's use. So let's go uh, make some coffee. Yeah. By the way, I do have a lot of gadgets. So at some point, so my plan is, uh, we got holidays coming up in about a couple months there. Maybe like last week of November or first week of December. Uh, let's figure it out how we're gonna give my stuff away. Okay, I have a lot of stuff. So the fact is I don't, you know, so we're gonna do some testing on this. Let's have some fun with it, and then let's pling on huge giveaway. Yeah, yeah, but huge giveaway maybe like beginning of December. So it's gonna be all gently used. I'm gonna clean it properly before I give it away. So okay, let's make some coffee. Goodness. So tomorrow morning, we are going to pick one of these, okay? Small one and then this one. So this is gonna be fun as well. We got lots, lots of stuff. All right. So let's make, so let's do, you know what? Let's do like Americano or long black, but uh, let's dial it in. So let's use the DF64. I'm going to be using my DF64. And then Bravo Barista Pro this morning. So this is the brand new bag. I have no idea what the grinder size is going to be. So I'm, I'm just going to set at number 15. Number 15 for now. Smells really good. So we're gonna do 18 gram. Okay, so I'm gonna measure our 18 gram here. I mean, if you guys are new to the Bravo machine, the way to making a good coffee at home, you need to control your variables, okay? Which means dosing amounts, the grinder size, even like water temperature. So, I mean, that's something you need to kind of like, okay, before I think about all those things, if I were you, if you're new to the channel, I mean, new to the uh, machine, do not use the non-pressurized basket, okay? So, whenever you buy the machine, they give you four different baskets. Two single wall baskets and two double wall baskets. Double means uh, pressurize it, so you don't have to worry about grinder size much. Single means uh, they are non-pressurized. So, just use the double wall on the two cup basket. Okay, so, so get the double wall, the two cup size, which means the larger size, okay, double baskets, not the single one. And they start, use, start making coffee for a while. Because do not, so I, I made a mistake by when I bought a brand new machine and they started dialing in, I waste so much coffee. So I waste so much coffee. So don't do that. So just start, start using it, start make, just use the double, well, uh, double size pressurized baskets, have some fun with it. And then when you feel comfortable with the machine and then start branch out to dialing in. If not, yeah, you're gonna have some, you know, just enjoy. I mean, I want you guys to enjoy the coffee first. Okay, so I'm gonna be, so let's do 18 gram here. Again, we are going to use the DF64. Meantime, I'm going to hit up my port filter. By the way, I do have the puck screen, 
but I don't know. I may use it or I may not use it, so let's see. All right. So I got the... By the way, if you are thinking about getting DF64, I have, a, I have a lot of videos on it. Make sure to check it out before you buy it. If you're going to buy, make sure to check out the Espresso Outlet. I'm going to put the link down below as well. Actually, Joe from Espresso Outlet hooked me up with DF64. I think it's all sold out right now, I think, but we'll see. But yeah, make sure definitely. Uh, 450 bucks shipped. Okay, so that's very inex inexpensive grinder compared to others. Okay. It is expensive. 450 is a lot of money, but this is all relative because a niche grinder is about what, 720 or so with the shipped. And then a special leader, the Eureka, it's about what, six, seven hundred bucks there as well. So 450 bucks compared to that, it's not bad. Okay, I'm just gonna, so this is 18 gram, okay. I'm just gonna distribute. I'm just gonna temp. So this is the grinder size 15, okay. Here, here's the problem. If I'm gonna put the puck screen on, which means it may not properly fit into the portal filter, okay. So we're not gonna do it because uh, you got you have to worry about the the height, the group head to the the puck there. So it may not be good. So. That, that's why whatever you are using, think about getting a puck screen, just make sure I think about the group head, the distance, the head space. Uh, if not, you're going to ruin the shower screen, so don't do that. All right, so let's pull the shot here. Uh, comes to water temperature on this guy. Uh, I set at default temperature, okay? So let's pull the shot. So I got 18 gram in. Uh, let's do like a 1 to 2 ratio. And the one to two, so about 36 gram out there. Okay, so this is the whole part of the dialing process. So this is the brand new bag, and then we just dialed in 18 gram. So we're gonna find out it's gonna be slow or fast, comes to the extraction wise, and also uh, we are going to, you know, it's going to be sour or bitter, okay? Sour means you're under extracted, bitter means they're over extracted. So it all depends. And so if you are sour, a few things we can change it. So all depend on the shot. Okay, okay so let's take a look. Let's take a look. So here's a shot number one. I'm going to start time when I start, uh, press the button there. Okay, shot is too fast, channeling everywhere. Not that bad, but it's really fast. Yeah. So, so this is kind of like starting point. So right now my grinder size is number 15. Based on that information we have, we have to lower our grinder size. So I'm thinking go down to maybe like 10. Okay, maybe go down to maybe 10, okay? And then we're gonna see what happens after that. And then, uh, it's, I mean, again, that was really fast. At the same time, we're gonna, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna change the water temperature at the same time. I mean, I shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. So I'm going to go plus two on the water temp. We change the grinder size to a little finer. And then let's find out what kind of shot we're going to get next time. I mean, so this is like, this is like part of the, the dialing process. Again, I mean, if you guys like enjoying this kind of process, like dialing it or get the you know, right flavor. The, I mean, espresso can be fun hobby for you, but if you're watching this, gosh, this is such, this is waste my time here, okay? I just want a coffee and go to work. Just use the pressurized basket, 
Okay, we don't have to, we are going to skip all this process. Cheers. Man, yeah, it's sour. It's good. You know, it's still better than any other coffee uh, come from your uh, store. Even store bar or any, any other like McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts. Even local coffee shop too. But, again, this puck is really ugly too. Goodness. Or stuck on the bottom and also I got stuck on the top as well. The best way to move the uh, puck from the shower screen, do not use your hand, okay? You just simply press the button. Just to use the water pressure to bring it down. So again, the puck quality, if you have like wet puck, don't worry about it. You know, as long as you have a good tasting coffee, that's all that matters. So, because I know someone, uh, someone, a lot of people ask me, who and I have a wet puck, how can I fix it? Oh, you don't. So, I mean, I wasn't able to fix it over the years. So, if you, if you guys know how to fix that, let me know in the comment section as well. Okay, I'm just going to clean this place up here. So this is like good and bad about live streaming. You get to see the whole thing, okay? There's no, there's no editing there. I don't want to say cheating, but sometimes a lot of uh, video makers out there, they skip the, they edit out the, the ugly part of the coffee making. But we're not going to do that, okay? We are better than that. All right, so, so we're going to do one more time. Same thing, uh, we're gonna do another 18 gram, but we already changed the grinder say, uh, size of 15 from number 10. Uh, we are using the DF64 this morning. So, we're gonna do that one more time here. Okay, by the way, my cat is out of control over there. Boy, hold on a second here. I, you guys need to see this. Hold on, this is must see. This is my My cat is stuck. I mean, come on, get that. Yeah, so. Hold on, there we go, there we go. Okay. Let's go back. Sorry about that, folks. So we have some little cat video. Alright, so let's get going here, okay. Okay, I, I, I hope I'm not wasting you guys time this morning. If I do, okay. All right. So let's do another 18. Hi, my house is really quiet right now because uh, my boys are back to school. Yeah. This is great. Because they usually have two boys running around. Okay, so here I go. So let, let's do that one more time. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna. We got all the coffee grind. Uh, here we go. You know what? Hold on, it's not done yet. Okay, the DF64 is not a perfect, perfect grinder, but for the price, hard to beat. Uh, for the price, hard to beat. I mean, if you are thinking about getting a grinder, definitely make sure to check out DF64 niche, okay? And then what else? A special leader is pretty good for that price range. And let's not forget the SETA 270 as well. So you, you guys have a lot of options, especially now. So, okay. I'm just going to temp it this time. I'm not going to distribute it. 
You know what, just for fun, I'm gonna put the puck screen on it, okay? Because since we uh, changed the grinder size from uh, 15 to 10, which means it's gonna be a lot finer. And then, so now we can put the puck screen. Comfortably, good. Because before that 15 was too, uh, too, uh, too, I guess like too tall, I guess. But this one, we should be okay. So, having said that, let's pull the shot here. Okay, so this is number two. There we go. Okay, let's try, uh, check out the shot quality. Still channeling there, but not that bad. Definitely less channeling. Shot looks pretty good so far. Okay, yep, shot looks fantastic. 41 gram. The overall shot is really nice. Okay, and then uh, it, it, it's about like 35 or 36 second shot there. So it's a little too slow, but you know what? Let's find out about the shots. Okay, let's try that. I'm gonna big shout out to Kevin for super, super sticker. Great, Kevin. We're one step closer. Okay, so let's, you know what? Before we uh, taste the shot, so let, let's take a look at the puck screen. Okay, hold on, maybe give you guys a better view here. The, the, I like about puck screen is I keep the showers, uh, shower screen cleaner, clean. Okay, just puck come right out. Again, hold on, let me, oops. The puck is a little wet, but overall, I'm just gonna take it out here. It's not bad, again. Okay. You're gonna have a clean uh, port filter for sure. So, so that's great thing about uh, having a puck screen. Uh, you're gonna keep machine clean. So, so let's try this. So this is the uh, shot number two. We change the water temperature and grinder size. Cheers. Much better, much more smooth. What else? Very balanced. Is yeah, it has more texture, which means more body to it. So yeah, it's a lot better shot than first one. Not bad. Okay. I can definitely taste the rose water even more, more so. So, so let's see. So here's what we're gonna do again this week as well. Maybe this weekend, I'm gonna bring it out my. Uh, niche grinder too. So we're gonna do, we are going to compare three grinders this weekend. So maybe Saturday or Sunday morning. It might be longer video than this one. So uh, we are going to compare Bravo, DF64 and Niche. And then also I'm gonna bring out my uh, crew sifter, okay? It's a sifter, which means they actually sift. So uh, you can, we can find out how much the fines are coming out from all these grinders there. So we can tell the uniformity of the copy grinds from uh, built-in grinder, DF64, and niche. So let's find out who is the produce the better grind size, okay, better quality. So let's do that. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun because, I mean, that's, uh, if you don't know what Sifter is, make sure to check out the Krub, okay, Krub.com. Uh, they have incredible products there, so yeah. So that tell us a lot about the quality of the grinder. So the sifting it, I mean, it's gonna be, I'm a little nervous about it, okay? Can you imagine? 
If a building grinder beat out niche and croup, I'm not niche and uh, DF64, this building grinder, wow, it's gonna be incredible. But we don't know, okay? We don't know until, uh, let's say we are going to actually uh, test it this weekend. So it's gonna be great. Uh, it's gonna be fantastic. All right, someone asked me about uh, when do I go live streaming? I go live streaming daily, okay? We go daily around eight o'clock uh, Mountain Standard Time. Right now, Pacific, same, same as California right now. Unless we got a daylight savings happening in what, September or October? I think it's September, right? And then we're gonna uh, change to Mountain Standard Time. So my time does not change, but I know you guys do. So we only have a two hour difference there from, uh, from East Coast. I think my friends in Canada as well. So um, if you guys there, feel, feel, feel free to join us every morning. I mean, I, again, I usually go around eight o'clock unless, you know, if I don't show up, which means I have a good reason for it, or I just don't feel like it, but so far, so far so good. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, if you have any questions or comment, let me know. Okay, so far we raised uh, over $500 right now. Okay, with, uh, we did this morning, what, five, maybe like 510. So again, uh, which motion we gonna get? It's gonna be E61 group head and then a uh, dual boiler and rotary pump. Okay, so that is a kind of like what I want to get. I know people are asking, well, why don't you look at the dual boiler or Oracle from Bravo? They're a fine machine, but I want to shoot, I mean, because I want to compare with the real high-end machine. Ideally, you know, like GS3 is really good. GS3 is a kind of like the top of my list, but we're not gonna get that but definitely around $3,000 range there. So, so I'm trying to raise about $1,000 from you guys, from your support. I'm gonna match the 1,000, and then I'm gonna have another, maybe get some kind of sponsorship for another 1,000. So, so $3,000 coffee machine, so, which means we're gonna have some really good comparison, okay? Truly entry level versus the high end, yep. And uh, Eric asked me how much, yeah, it's, it's about $3,000 uh, around there, Eric. And uh, Bianca is really nice. Bianca is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Because the, the okay, great thing about those kind of machine. So here's a kind of like, I was talking to Brad from a local, uh, to, uh, local roster. Brad is, um, he has the, this entry level copy roster. He's getting a brand new copy rosters from Mir City. Cop. And the, the, the entry level copy roster versus the, the rear copy roster. A coffee roast, uh, coffee roasting machine. Whenever you read the description here, so this one is honey, rose water, and quamquat, right? So with a regular coffee roaster, you can only you are going to get that flavor, okay? But the high-end machine, the high-end coffee roaster, you can actually develop that coffee, the develop the flavor. I mean, those notes, okay, you can actually enhance it, or if you wanna bring out some other components even more, you can actually go out and get it. Just like coffee machines as well. Uh, entry level machine, we know this tastes like, we're gonna try one more time here. I can, I can definitely taste the rose water, okay? Very smooth, like honey. But the rear uh, high-end machine with like the flow control, you can precise temperature control. You can go out there, grab that flavor even more. You can actually enhance that. So, I mean, that's the kind of like entry-level machine versus the high-end machine. You can go out there, get that, you know, flavor. Like if you want to have a more rose water flavor, you can play with uh, a flow control profile or water temperature, precise water temperature, and with pair that with great grinder, you can you're gonna have some fantastic espresso. By the way, okay, how many of you out there have a time to spend on get that flavor? You know what? I mean, not me. Okay, I mean, just let me know in the comment section. How, how many of you actually have time to div You know, the willing to take time to get the flavor. Let me know, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section because unless coffee is your hobby, your passion, 99% of us, I just wanna put some, grind some coffee beans and 
just have some coffee and go to work. So it all depends. It all depends on what you guys like. And then obviously for you guys who are hanging out with us, I know you guys like coffee. So hopefully this video somewhat entertain you or, you know, maybe waste your time for the next 20, 30 minutes. But anyway, uh, make sure to press like on the video, okay? It's good for the ranking. So, you know, let's raise some more money. All right, uh, let's see what else. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at some comment section going on here. We got Jordan say, Jordan is, okay. Okay, Jordan is definitely coffee hobbyist. All right, and then what else? We got some people. You know what? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, uh, let someone mention about the Rocket. Okay, I mean, Rocket's great. R50A is a fantastic machine. There's a lot of great machines if you're willing to spend about 25 and up. So, all right, I think we are good. Okay, uh, but uh, I'm going to jump into Instagram right now. So if you haven't followed my Instagram page, make sure to do so. Oh, uh, hold on. We have uh, Jay Stockton. It's Stockton. 10 bucks. Great, buddy. Uh, we have the super sticker. So thank you for that. We are getting an, one step closer, folks. Okay. But again, someone asked me, am I going to replace my Bravo machines? No. I mean, this is the, not this one. I have another one sitting right there. So that's the one where it started, okay, for my coffee as my hobby and also as my YouTube channel. So I'm not going to be getting rid of anytime soon because, I mean, I like to add another machine to kind of like show you guys, hey, you don't have to have $3,000 coffee machine to make a great coffee. So, I mean, that's the whole point about this channel, okay, because this is, I mean, I, I, I want to be more affordable. You know, all the coffee gears I've been showing you over the years like fancy gears or a distribution tool. The fact is you don't even need it. By the way, if you are interested, uh, I have the coupon code for San Antonio industry, 15% off. They are only good for next few days. So uh, I'm going to put the link down below as well. Uh, by the way, I get no uh, commission on that. Okay. So because I have no interest in financially on this coupon code, uh, except uh, fellow products. They are giving us a little uh, commissions from fellow. Whenever you are using the Hun Ten, which means you guys are going to get 10% off. And also I got a small commission as well. So fellow, I got a little commissions and also Amazon, obviously. I got some little commissions. People think there's a lot, it's not just tiny. So it's not even, it's not even uh, worth talking about it. But again, um, it's, you're, that's another way to support the, our channel, okay? It's not my channel, it's our channel. So it's all about having fun here. All right, and the week, uh, we have a wing, Coffee ask us, hey, uh, Hun, do you upgrade your DF64 bird to SSP bird? Okay, so we're gonna, it'd be nice to, the, here's, a, here's a deal, okay, so DF64, um, you, can, you can modify heck out of it. So this one I already, thanks to Eduardo and Linda, so they have 3D machines, so they've been sending the stuff to modify this. So far, I modified the base, okay. Modify the base there and also uh, Porter Keeper sent me the, this dosing, not the ring, but hold on, let me show you the, this indicator. So it, he made that for me as well. Okay, speaking of Porter Keeper, so that's a Porter Keeper products. You can actually hang your stuff. And so, so that's the modify, uh, modification as well. What else? Oh, so this is also another mod, okay, dosing cup holder to give you that right angle. So you're gonna have a less uh, static. And again, I mean, compare that with a niche. The niche is like from the out of the box, you don't have to do anything, okay? Um, you just start using it right away. But with DF64, again, it's not perfect uh, grinder. So you have to, you know, tweak it a little bit to make, you know, a little easier to use. Still great but makes it a little easier to use, just like SSP bird set. Uh, sooner or later, we are, I'm gonna get the SSP bird. So I'm, we are going to, I'm going to show you guys, is there any difference in flavor? So we're gonna do that at some point as well. So that one is, I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe I actually make a separate video on that, uh, kind of the edited version of it, because it does take time to take the birds out and replace it. You know, I don't wanna do that in live streaming. 
maybe I don't know. Maybe we could do it on live streaming. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at the. What else is here? Okay, I think we are pretty good. Okay, what uh, we got the uh, art antique and kit. What what do you think about the Brabber Brista, the building grind? I've been using it for years. Okay, building grinder just fine. Okay, ninety nine percent of the time, what we are using it for, they're great. I mean, if some uh, if someone say that this is like underperform uh, grinder, you know what? I have no complaints here. So uh, I think we are good this morning. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now. If you have any questions or comment, ask me there. Okay, uh, make sure you join the chat. Okay, just join us and ask me questions, and also show us your uh, copy bar setup too. Okay, we're gonna have some fun with it. Okay, I think we are good, and then I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday morning. And then tomorrow morning, uh, let's make some coffee with this coffee machine. We just unbox it, and then let's unbox another one tomorrow morning. All right, see you guys in 